So there's a few interesting things that happen in this drive. Um, I've sped up the boring bits and voiced over the interesting bits. If you just want to see the interesting bits, then just see the timestamps in the video description. So here I intervened and brought the car to a full emergency stop as a BMW was pulling out from the left and it started to pull out right in front of me and it ended up partially blocking my lane. Uh, there was a car behind in the lane to my right, so I didn't want to swerve while braking, and FSD didn't seem to react, or didn't react fast enough for my liking. FSD was probably okay to edge past the BMW if it hugged the right, but I didn't know if he was going to stop or not, so I did a full emergency brake. I think what happened is the BMW thought we were turning left into the street that he was pulling out of, because FSD was changing lanes to the left. Uh, but FSD did correctly stop indicating once it had finished changing lanes, and the BMW had plenty of time to see that no more indicator was on, so I think there was no excuse for the BMW pulling out like that. Here FSD once again has trouble moving into the left exit lane. Um, it manages to get into the left lane at the end, but by that time it's already too late and it would have to drive through the flushed median and cut cars off to make the exit. So here I decide to intervene and make it reroute to the next exit. Here I'm pulling out from a shop, but there's almost zero visibility to the left and right due to parked cars, and this is a situation that's very common in Auckland. Here I've overlaid the Tesla side pillar dash cam footage, so you can see what the car sees. From my more forward viewpoint in the driver's seat, I can see a little bit better. Unfortunately here, FSD starts to pull out right as a hidden car is revealed from the right. FSD seems to be pulling out very slowly, perhaps hesitating as it sees the car from the right approaching. But by this point, it's already in the middle of the road. Here I have to step on the accelerator to get it out of the way of the car coming from the right sooner.
Here I intervened because there was a car with its indicator on, looking like it wanted to get in the right lane, but FSD wasn't being polite and letting it in. However, in the end that car decided it didn't want to turn right after all, so the intervention ended up being for nothing. That car looked like he wanted to come in, and FSD wasn't letting him in, but it turns out that he didn't want to get in anyway, so who knows. Again, this is another situation where I'm pulling out and there is almost no visibility to the right due to a tree. In this case, I think that FSD could have creeped out a little bit more forward to get a better view. And unfortunately, again, FSD tries to pull out just as a car is revealed coming from the right, so I have to intervene. Here I thought this was an interesting, poor road layout that FSD handled well. Here there are two lanes of the lights that can both go straight, but directly after the lights there is only one lane, and there is no merge sign. So essentially you need to merge in the intersection. I think FSD handled it well, realizing that the two lanes had ended and merging behind the bus. Here FSD doesn't read the indicator of the blue car coming from the right of the roundabout and basically cuts her off. In this situation, the lady in the oncoming car flashed her lights to let us go, but FSD didn't seem to recognize that, or maybe it was just being cautious of the left turning car trying to get sneak past her. I ended up stepping on the accelerator to help FST take advantage of the situation. Here I found it interesting that FST didn't do its usual full legal stop at the stop. But here the stop sign was flipped around. So it seems that FST is only relying on the signs and not the road markings to determine if it's a stop. And just here I thought that FC did a good job getting around this car, um, sticking out on the dashed yellow lines. And finally, just noting here that I intervened because I mistakenly forced FSD into the wrong lane with an indicator press, as I thought it was taking a different route. I intervened to put it back in the lane that it was originally in.